Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, stuff and lots of it. Uh, so, uh, last vlog I was kind of in the car with all of those new sets and I really didn't, couldn't, sh wouldn't, couldn't, shouldn't, or couldn't have shown you any of the figures that uh, I had been working on or have been working on and uh, I was juggling a lot and thankfully, as I predicted, things have really started to slow down a little bit in terms of making figures so uh yeah there are a lot of winter soldier figures that i've been working on as you guys are aware um and i didn't mention in the vlog before last but i actually posted the first official preview for the winter soldier figures like a week and a half ago or so um and that went up on Flickr, twitter and facebook and that's why you should definitely check those out i mean for sharks because it's it's definitely worth it because you get looks at things like Captain America and uh, you know his winter soldier friend and all the figures that I'm working on so yeah now I don't plan on showing those for a little while because uh, they still have a lot of work to go or to, to do I still have lots of work to do on them and uh, so I decided that I actually do want to start on Falcon I'm gonna start probably starting him today um, but as you guys know I'm kind of in the middle of moving and that's why I'm in this big uh, condo because we can't move into our house yet. Um, so I wanted to start on Falcon, but one of, the, one of the problems of moving is I um, I don't have a gray torso uh, to use for Falcon, and uh, that's a bit of a problem because I kind of want to start with his torso. Uh, but I do have a Lord business or a President business lying around. But here's the thing: Lego and the quality they use for their collectible minifigure series is crap, and I don't want to paint onto their crappy. Uh, you know, quality plastic collectible minifigures, figures, <laughs> because, uh, as I mentioned, it's kind of more cheapish on these, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to start on Falcon until I can find an actual decent quality, uh, gray torso that I can paint onto, uh, but regardless, she's sleeping, <laughs> okay, that happened, uh, she doesn't like being poked, as you can see, uh, so I started on another Iron Man suit, and <laughs> um, it's pretty awesome. Now, this is not going to be an Iron Man suit that a lot of you would have expected. It's kind of an Iron Man suit that uh, I wanted to make personally. There are like 42 suits to choose from. Well, maybe like 30-something now that I've made a lot of them. Um, and I decided to go with Disco. I want to make the Disco suit, and I actually made a significant amount of progress on him yesterday. Everything you see on this Disco suit, all this progress was made yesterday and I'm pretty happy with it so yeah disco suit and he's looking awesome I definitely think he's a more of a simple suit he's not like the silver centurion or the heartbreaker or the red snapper like those he's much more simple I can probably finish him within the next few days and hopefully I will so I can do a showcase video on him alongside all of these friggin sets that I have to review because it's kind of insane how many there are and I've been kind of having a building party after that one vlog and, uh, yeah, I've got, like, these three micro fighters over here that are going to get their own review. Jedi Interceptor here. I've This whole Lord Business Evil layer, this is just kind of to satisfy my Lego movie craze. So I got that. And then, last night, Target.com put out, put out some more uh, Cloud Cuckoo Palace sets. And if you didn't know, the Cloud Cuckoo Palace has been a chase set. I mean, it's been selling out everywhere. So when I saw it pop up on Target.com, I was like... <gasps> And I was actually in the car at the time, so huge thanks to my mom for being awesome and ordering that while I, while I was out running errands with my sister. Uh, but yeah, so Vitruvius and his lollipop stick staff thing. And I got this, the Joker steamroller. That's back there. And um, first Batgirl ever. About time we got a Batgirl. Freaking awesome and fantastic minifigure. And uh, not to mention Damian Wayne, who suffers from a small problem that I'll address in the review. And uh, yeah, so all the way, by the way, I have this uploading right now. Greaves' wheel bike, check that out. There's the thumbnail. That's going to go up in uh, about, I want to say, 111 minutes. One, one, one. Just like my friend Joe. One, 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 like our views, one, one, one. <laughs> uh, coincidences. But um, yeah, so stuff. Lots of sets. Lots of sets to review. I still haven't even opened up the police gunship or the uh, uh, V Wing. I got to build those, but I mean, I already have a lot of sets built, so there's really no rush in this freaking chandelier that wants to kill me. Uh, yeah, so Benny, I want to show you this. Benny got some updated parts recently. 
Um, you guys probably saw my custom version of Benny, and uh, what it was originally was like it was like a painted um, painted helmet, and then a painted torso with like dark bluish gray hands. He didn't even have the jet back, and it was like an old Padme torso. Uh, so thankfully, I ordered a uh, 1980s set uh, off Bricklink, and I uh, got official 1980s parts. So that's an official 1980s uh, minifigure right there with my own custom painted head, and he definitely looks awesome. And I did make a little crack on his helmet there. So yeah, lots more Benny to come. Benny's freaking awesome. I love Benny. He's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so 212th, looking awesome. You have a lot more Utapau Troopers now that I bought a couple more of those sets, and uh, they are ready for the Siege of Pow City. However, uh, they're just kind of hanging out until I can move into the new house to get building on that. Uh, once I do get into the new house, uh, I will start on that immediately because I swear Brick Fair will be here like next week, and that's kind of how it feels usually. So, uh, yeah, stuff. And one other thing before I go uh, that I want to point out uh, that, that I actually made is this. Fives. This is the exact same fives that you guys have seen before. There's no difference aside from the helmet. The helmet is entirely new and uh, in every way awesome, if you ask me, because I'm really happy the way it turned out. Uh, the only reason I made this, if I have Commander Wolf nearby, do I? I don't believe I do. Uh, well... You can see him over here. Commander Wolf, he's in this case. You can see him right there. And uh, Commander Wolf and Comet, well, Comet, Clone Trooper Comet, he utilizes a uh, Aerolite helmet. And uh, then he, he uses like, the words. He utilizes an Aerolite um, Phase 2 closed helmet. And uh, Fives had a Air Phase 2 opened helmet. And I was like, you know, this, that's not really consistent. And uh, I made this on the day that the Clone Wars was announced to be airing on Netflix. So I was kind of excited about, you know, the whole story arc with Fives and Tup uh, that I made him a whole new helmet. And uh, odds are, this is going to be an MGF Extra exclusive because I don't think a new Clone Trooper helmet is worth an entire showcase given you've already seen the rest of the minifigure before. Uh, but yeah, still really happy the way this helmet turned out. And just so you are aware, that is not a Microfighters helmet. Uh, like a Microfighters Clone Trooper helmet, that is all completely painted. Um, painted the visor, the vents, the cheeks, everything right there you see is all painted. And uh, he does sport a Clone Army Customs painted rangefinder. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. Really happy that my Fives is now updated and uh, he doesn't stand out like a sore thumb because uh, when you have a bunch of clone troopers who all have different molds for their helmets it gets kind of inconsistent and that bothered me so I fixed that and then Deathstroke is now just like the ghosts camping out until he's ready for his showcase video but I do plan on at least reviewing this Joker steamroller and then when that's done uh, then Deathstroke will probably get his showcase and then more reviews and then the disco suit and so on I've got a lot planned guys and uh, it's just all a matter of getting it all done and you guys know that I am working on it and so glad that I'm in this condo from next two and a half weeks or so because uh gives me you know a decent amount of free time to uh paint and uh to record and all that good stuff so yeah i think that's it for this vlog guys and uh Cody? hi no no okay all right guys i think that's it and uh i'll catch you later all right Bye.